Case number 20JAN2022. Name Rainbow Six Extraction. A spin off of Rainbow Six Siege, Extraction is a cooperative multiplayer game in which players must work together to combat and defeat a parasite like alien called the Arach. <coughs> Team Rainbow now faces the greatest terror ever, a lethal mutating alien invasion. Such is the statement of the developers. Let's bring the Emperor's justice to them. As this is another co-op shooter, story is expectedly weak like a Gretchen fart. Aliens came out of nowhere from below the ground and Rainbow Six team made out of characters taken from the original Rainbow Six Siege have to fight them. That's all, folks. As you progress and do the assigned tasks, you uncover more details about these arachnids. <coughs> but it is as exciting as when YouTubers ask you to like the video and subscribe to their channel. Uh, which you should, by the way, to show your loyalty to the Gaming Inquisition. Anyway, uh, it's funny how Ubisoft slapped the word original underneath the name of this game. Are you kidding me? Recolored assets from their previous game added few light ideas taken from XCOM series and called it an original. Come on now, last time Ubisoft released an original was in 2016 with Division 1? Original my ass. Graphics are solid, you have a lot of options to tweak and twiddle and diddle, whatever that means, including the colorblind modes, lots of language packs and servitor reading the text on screen. This is Ubisoft's standard nowadays as they are trying to make games accessible to as many players as possible, which is something more developers should strive for as well. Music is slow and ominous, but you can only hear it in the menu. Reminds me of part of Exile music in the first act. Any other music that might be there is unremarkable and so muted during the missions, I do not even recall any of it. Voice acting and sounds are nothing to write to the commissariat about. As for weapons, most of the time you have suppressors equipped, so it all sounds like shooting nerf guns. Atmosphere is tense. Predominant black and yellow, which in animal world is always a sign of danger, creeps on you and with the way the game mechanics works, it fits well. Also, a big kudos to the devs for making the characters believable. These guys are here on a mission, risking their lives playing for the highest stakes, which is saving humanity. They don't talk shit on comms, they do not enjoy the thrill of the fight and do not go around like f***ing cowboys on cocaine, cracking idiotic one-liners as in every other co-op shooter. They only give commands, acknowledgements, point out enemies or confirm a kill. Finally, a game where characters take their situation seriously. But as usual, that is all the good stuff. Let's have a look at the part where this game fails miserably like Abaddon on each of his silly crusades. And that is gameplay. You know how games should be fun? Somehow Ubisoft managed to take the fun out of this equation. As if they sat down on a call, brainstormed all the parts that makes video games fun, then worked out a way how to ruin each of them. Firstly, I blame the devs for being brain dead and not knowing their audience. Now hear me out. Ubisoft Montreal wanted to make a co-op game for people who like Rainbow Six, but would prefer co-op PvE instead of Siege's PvP gameplay. And they believe that Siege characters, Katakan level of badass experts in dealing with the extreme, are professionals who utilize stealth and quick incursions. Finishing the objective and extract, ASAP, no time wasted, no unnecessary killing. Which is all nice and I agree how it should be in real life, but that is not why people play co-op shooters. We have single player games for this kind of gameplay. Co-op games are played because you just want to shoot hordes of enemies alongside your friends. So this is the problem. Stealth is paramount in this game, but players always screw up because they want to shoot every alien they see. And you can't blame them. All the other co-op shooters encourage you to do it. Even Extraction itself. And that brings us to the Exhibition B. While devs doesn't want you to kill everything on sight, they force you to do it at the same time. How, you may ask? By hiding everything behind a huge experience point grind. If you want to progress and unlock more stuff, you need experience points, and you get those for killing enemies. Sure, you get the most from completing the objectives, but you can rake in an extra 1 or 2000 EXPs just by staying in the mission longer and clear the map of hostiles. On top of that, the extra tasks you are given usually include killing X enemies in various ways. So what are we supposed to do, Ubisoft? You want us to be quiet like unseen ghosts, or like a death dread rampaging through the battlefield? It's counterintuitive. Wow. 
Speaking of wow. shit, you can't even play the characters you want. Developers literally decided that you can't have fun in extraction and for 5 minutes of fun you have to suffer another hour of dread and grind. I will explain these obnoxious mechanics in a minute. Levels are crap as well. You have I believe 5 or 6 playable areas, each with 3 maps. Each map is divided into 3 zones, each with progressively harder enemies and you can always decide whether to extract with the EXP earned or go further and risk a wipe, losing it all. As for the mission objectives, there is 12 of them and they are always assigned at random. Maps themselves are very small and confined, visually uninteresting and boring because they all look the same. And since you will be playing them over and over, they get boring even faster. There is nowhere to explore, nothing to collect or see except the enemies and your objective that have two or three possible spawn points. What a shame. Let me get the controls out of the way next. You can rebind everything you need, which is always great, and another thing not many games manage to have even in this day and age, so at least the basics are covered here. Now let me tell you how this game sucks huge, festering, great, unclean balls due to its mechanics. You have quite a few operatives to choose from, and speaking of balls, I would bet Gilliman's left testicle that they will be bringing more in DLCs and paid expansions. Each of the operators have a special ability, but the majority of them sucks like a new Drukari girlfriend. Mostly they have some shitty x-ray vision, grenades or some other boring crap. I personally found only 4 characters I liked, but each to their own. Operators can be leveled up to rank 10 to get different weapons and stat boosts, and since I love medics, healers and overall support classes in co-op games, I wanted to play Dog to max him out. But I could not. Firstly, characters can't heal themselves up during the mission. Unfortunately, Doc got hurt and his health was very low, hence Ubisoft prohibited me to play him. Doc needed time to rest up and heal, which sounds awesome on paper, bringing some realism into the game, but it also sucks giant slanish wow. in games like this. I had to choose another character, some random, boring wanker I didn't want to play at all because when successfully completing the mission, you get EXP as well as heal some hit points on the operators that chilled in the HQ. Depending on how well you do during the mission, you get more HP healed on all your wounded operators. Now that is what I call a proper boom. Wow. During the mission you can't regain your health, only boost it, so even if you make a small mistake and get hit by the enemy, Ubisoft locks your beloved character out of the game for at least 2 to 3 runs. And you have to pray for the operation not to go foobar, because if you get downed, your guy becomes MIA. Missing in action is actually a really cool mechanics, where if your operator gets downed, he is enclosed in a protective foam and then your teammates either extract the operative out of the map or they become lost. And you can't play that character until you play the same map and extract them as a part of the next incursion. Problem is randomized objectives. Luck had it that on my next three incursions saving the MIA operator was the third objective and we never got that far. I even lost two more folks attempting it. Do you see the issue here? For each one to two missions you play with the character you enjoy, you have to play another three to six you do not enjoy because of the health and MIA status. Thank you Ubisoft for taking the last possible vestige of fun from this idiotic game. I understand that this ensures players don't become one trick ponies and are forced to try out a variety of characters, but when you make all operators boring and samey as this lot, what do you expect? On top of that, you are forced to replay the same three levels over and over because each new area you unlock is way harder and your underleveled operators are going to be eaten for breakfast there. Back to the grand in New York, battle brothers and sisters, yay! And let me end up on a high note, the community. If you get lost or stay behind, your other two teammates have no problem extracting without waiting for you, which automatically results with your character ending up MIA. Although once I did it myself because the dude was just lollygagging around like a prick, so we left him behind. Most likely he was just trying to farm some extra EXP, but well, there you go, extraction ladies and gentlemen. Although I have been more on the other side of this as well, when there were just the two of us left that wow. waited until I went to the other side of the map to do the objective, then extracted without giving me the time to reach the zone. Another guy extracted because I went down, he was near the helipad and he was not going to wait for me to get up and join him. And they said that people are fed up with toxic community in original Rainbow Six game. Well, from the frying pan right into the wall fire I guess. But not all douchebaggery is player's fault, game is to blame too. 
Since you can't regain health and your operators can go MIA, people just run for their life when they see or think the mission was compromised or they won't be able to reach the decontamination zone. And I don't blame them. Another reason for people to go all guns blazing despite mission calling for stealth is that the more EXP you gain, the more HP your operators heal, so you want to get that score as high as possible to reduce the time you can't play the characters that you want. But do not disconnect from the game once everything is lost and you were down, for that you also get time penalty from matchmaking. So you can decide whether you are going to waste time watching other people play and most likely not rescue your operator anyway, or get locked out of the game for the same amount of time. Bravo, game developers, bravo! While Ubisoft Montreal is officially promoting cooperation and camaraderie with this title, they utilize selfish behavior of save yourself, screw the others, and by not sharing the EXP and everyone having individual tasks, also promoting the toxicity where people are stealing each other's skills or killing the enemy before you can do your thing. Like when I had a task to highlight the enemy before team kills them, or stunning the aliens with a grenade. Couldn't do it in co-op because my teammates were rushing forward to get all the kills and all the EXP. Seriously, this is the first time I have seen a game openly promoting shitty, selfish behavior while masquerading itself as a cooperative title. Only proves how disconnected Ubisoft is from what makes games good and enjoyable experience. But what do you expect from people that are re-releasing the same games they made in early 2000s for the last 10 years? Dear Battle Brothers and Sisters, after 8 hours of this Ubisoft unoriginal, uninspired Rainbow Six recolor, I deem this game a garbage you should not waste your money and time on. Out of 8 hours I only played the characters I liked for about an hour, and it is just not worth the rage and frustration you will end up feeling inside. It is a part of Game Pass, so you can try it out for free if you link your Microsoft and Uplay accounts, but the core mechanics are anti-fun and extraction goes against all the basic principles of co-op shooters. Go play one of the good ones instead, like Vermintide or Payday. But before you go, you can show your agreement or disagreement with my ruling by giving this video a thumb up or down and telling me how awesome and revolutionary Ubisoft is in the comment section. Click the subscribe button to make the old inquisitor a happy hippo and click the bell button so you won't miss my next video. I will see you at the next ruling and as always, the Emperor protects!